here we go in my driveway heading out obviously not going to work on the farm right now <laughs> I'm heading out to shoot what is most likely gonna be my last official wedding as a photographer I might still do some small ones here and there but I'm getting out of the wedding game and honestly starting to talk about it is making me emotional <laughs> Uh, I do believe that even though we can do things, and even if they're things we're good at, if our heart's not in it anymore, it's time to try new things. <sighs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting out of doing something that I don't love and that I don't have a passion for anymore, which is hopefully going to make time to do new things, other things better things for me, for my family, even if it's a little bittersweet. I've been doing weddings for, I don't know, seven years, six, seven years. I've lost count. I've probably done 70 or 80. I don't know, a lot, but it's time. It's time. So here we go. Last one. Sun is not shining. I need it to, but I do see a little break, break, but, but break in the clouds I think all right here we go I'm psyching myself up let's do this the sun just came out whoop, whoop. <laughs> yay 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 hum again hum again jiggity jog and they left the light on for me yay finished that wedding it was great long Big party, but great. Check this out. I even came home with barbecue and cupcakes. So that's a, that's the a score. <laughs> hey y'all. Okay, I'm bound and determined to finish this vlog that I started several days ago. Things have been a little chaotic since that wedding. It's now, what's today? Wednesday. And this is all coming together in a very, wait for it, Higgledy Piggledy, Higgledy Piggledy way. That is a new word introduced to me today from my friend James Robinson at JR from Strictly on Twitter. James lives in England, and, and he lives in England, and evidently this is a term over there, and I think. It needs to be a term on this side of the pond. I asked him if I could please, please, please steal it. And he said I could as long as I used it in one of my vlogs. I plan on using it a lot. I think we all should. It's a very fun word. And I think it just means kind of haphazard. Um, like thrown together. Which is my life. I live a higgledy-piggledy life. And I just came home from the Piggly Wiggly for the, like, fourth time in the last three days. So, there's that. Add it to your vocabulary. Own it. Use it. Make it great. There they are. There they go. And there they go again. Welcome home, pup. Okay, we are finally, finally getting ready to finish up harvest. Got the neighbor and his combine. I think it's a gleaner. I don't know anything about combines, but I think it's an older gleaner. And I'm gonna see if I can, um, I'm gonna see if he'll let me tool around with him around the field once or twice. I've never ridden in one, so. Yeah, and this corn looks terrible. <laughs> it looks terrible because it got blowed down. Blown down, blowed down. Anyway, it's laying down, most of it. So, this is not gonna be, I don't know if this is even gonna be worth showing, but whatever, it's what we're doing. <laughs> Lovely. So, it's gonna be great. 
so yeah we don't have our own combine combine so we get a friend who's a dairy farmer and who has a combine yep it's a gleaner to do it for us so anyway i'm gonna see if i can hop in take a trip around Thank you. 